This one has definitely been glazed, at least it's very shiny. Isn't that pretty? Nature is amazing. Two pairs of red earrings. I wonder if they seem like they came from the same person. So another dolphin <laughs> item for my daughter. This might be a two-parter. Yeah, this might already be the second part, so you already know it's a two-parter. This is Jen. It's grabbed this little box. It's a heavy little box and there are what seem to be little marble, um, marble-esque, I don't know what they're made of, um, cutlery rests. I kind of grabbed them not really knowing what they are. Um, some sides are shiny and then I think that's the bottom because it's a little, it's not like a shiny side, you know. I do need to give them a clean. Um, one of them is chipped. But I don't know. Let's see. This one's chipped here. You can see it a bit. So yeah, they're like cutlery wrists. And it's kind of greenish. I want to say like it's a stone of some kind, but I really don't know. Um, if anybody knows, let me know because I have no idea what these are made out of. But yeah, I don't know if cutlery wrists are really a thing. Do people still... Um, look for those. I'm not sure. Yeah, and then I was surprised there's actually a leather set underneath here. Clear ones. I don't even know if they're glass or plastic. I haven't taken them out. Well, they're definitely glass. Oh, do you think they're crystal? <laughs> I don't know. I honestly couldn't even tell you the difference between crystal and glass. So yeah, these clear glass ones. They may be crystal, but honestly, I I don't know. These don't seem to have any damage. I think this box is probably for these ones because they look like they fit in there quite nicely. There's nothing written underneath and there was no lid so I mean I don't know. I'll see. I don't know if I'll put them in as a lot or sell them separately. I really want to know what these are made out of. Does anybody have a have an idea of what that could be? I don't know. Maybe if I show you the chipped one, you might be able to tell. The chip looks pretty green. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Mm. I need to wash it and see. Yeah. So these were just a little add-on that I got. The next items I have to show you guys are so much fun. <laughs> They're very natural. Um, and I honestly have absolutely no idea for prices or anything like that how much um, I need to have a look and see how much this kind of stuff sells for. It might be nothing, it might be something. So I grabbed it all. So this is the first one. It is also the biggest one. There were a whole bunch of dusty shells <laughs> in the back of one of the the glass cabinets behind the counter. I had a little look and I just kind of dug in there and I found all these gorgeous big shells. When I was a kid I would have loved one of these in my bedroom. Isn't it gorgeous? Um, I don't know if like you're even allowed. Are you allowed to buy shells like this anymore like and bring them back to your country? <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know. Oh yeah, I thought these were amazing. Huge, chunky pieces of nature. Isn't that cool? So yeah, there's this one. We have this one, which is a smaller, darker one, a bit more spiky. I think this was the one I had to give a bit of a wash to. Because there was like, uh, I still probably need to wash it a little bit more. I feel like it's almost like it has been glazed or something, the glaze is coming off in little, little bits there, but... Yeah, it looks like it's been glazed like a darker colour and then most of the glaze has come off. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see? 
kind of looks like it's coming off there so yeah this one I'm not sure about I haven't cleaned it yet as you can tell the difference <laughs> um, I just grabbed it because it was like the whole lot you know so this one I'm gonna need to give it a good clean look at that and also like there's a hole in the front <laughs> you can see a little plastic flower in there I don't know if you can start picking it up. There's a little plastic pink flower in there, so I'll need to give that a good clean out. <laughs> it's probably been in there for a long time. Just not gonna put that one on there. <laughs> this one has definitely been glazed, at least. It's very shiny. It's all glossy. Look at that. Wow. It, um, is it the same type of shell that they use for necklaces and stuff? But really huge. It's lovely. This one is very similar to this one, just a slightly smaller version. So maybe I could sell them as a, a set. What do you guys think? Should I like sell the big one by itself and then these two as a set or should I sell them all together? I mean what what would you suggest? So these next two are very spiky. Look at those like dragon shells or dinosaur shells or something that's pretty cool yeah I know I don't think these have been cleaned very much but they weren't as dusty as that last one I think I just give them a little a little wipe down this one's very spiky too <laughs> they look like little dragons or little dinosaurs don't they these three are pretty nice too this one and this one have a very similar vibe and then this little white one I feel like it's similar to this one because it has that kind of ridged bit there and these ones like sea snails I guess I don't know some of them are pretty some of them are a little scruffy like this one I'm not sure I'll, I'll keep this one in it's a bit it's almost like there's like cement on it or something not a great quality one. So these are the shells. I wonder if it was somebody's shell collection, like one person's shell collection, minus that really dirty one because that looked like it'd been there for a long time. Ta-da! That looks pretty cool to me. Any kid would be happy to have that in their room. My daughter is already like, can I have them? Can I have them? So I gave her a few of them already. But these like larger, prettier ones, I, I feel like I could sell them all together or something. I don't know. Maybe all of these smaller ones together, these three, and then this one by itself. Or I honestly don't know. I need to look up the the shell market. <laughs> I have no idea um, how much anything is worth yet. Um, let me remove a few of these because I still have some to show you. These next pieces are little pieces of coral and to be honest I don't know if I can sell them just because they break so easily I don't even want to clean them or dust them because they're so delicate just so brittle like the guy was like do you even want to put like because we wrap everything in um in newspaper so I can dig it home but like like look this one's still a little dusty because I don't want to <laughs> I don't want to break it so I don't know if you can actually like send this it would just get crushed wouldn't it I don't know maybe I'll try and send it as like a little add-on or something I don't know and this last piece look at that I think that's what people call a sand dollar is that what it is a sand dollar, like a sea urchin kind of thing, but I think you guys in America call it a sand dollar when it's like this. How cool is that? It looks like bread. Oh, it has a little hole in it there. Is that a natural one? Or somebody put that there? It's not a break anyway. Yeah, it's not pretty. Nature is amazing. I don't want to damage it. Yeah. 
So, I don't know, I'll have to think about how I want to sell these individual items. Probably as a collection would be more interesting for someone, but I don't know. I really need to research all of these kind of things to see. I just think they're gorgeous. It's not finished guys, there are still three things to show. <laughs> I got so much stuff. I filled my granny kind of shopping basket this time. Really did. And all for 15 euros. <laughs> and I still have the jewellery to show you guys. This might be a two-parter. Yeah. This might already be the second part, so you already know it's a two-parter. I'm just gonna keep these shells here because they're kind of linked to the other stuff I got. So this little carved fish, <laughs> carved out of what I do not know, some stone, he's pretty cute, um, no damage, perfect little fish, I liked him, and he was here with all these um, shells, so I just grabbed him at the same time. as well as some of these gemstones. So I know nothing about gemstones, which you guys probably realized during the advent calendar series when I had the little gemstone calendar. So I have no idea which um, quartz or whatever these are. So this seems like a purplish one, like a light purplish one. And then this next one, and the last thing I have to show you in this part is this huge chunk of green one. Look at that. It's huge. It's really heavy. Um, can somebody tell me what, what stone this is? I'm gonna have a guess at it myself when I have time to look it up and stuff like that. But I'm sure one of you would be able to tell me what this is. This big chunk of, <laughs> chunk of crystally stuff. These crystals. So yeah, I don't know if this was, this was all in the same place. Um, this might have been someone's shell and crystal collection. Or maybe the guys just in the shop just put them all in the same place because they look similar. Yeah. <laughs> cool crystal. It's kind of like a grainy, grainy color. But in the light, it looks very, like, some of it is transparent, I can see that. But there's a lot of, like, browny, rusty coloured lines going through it. And I don't know if that's, like, dust and dirt or if it's part of the, the stone, if you know what I mean. I don't know, it's pretty cool though. It's pretty big. This part's really pretty. It's all clean and nice and blue. It's very smooth. Like I know it's not polished or anything, but like it's there's something really smooth about it. Like it doesn't feel like a stone. I mean I know because it's not a stone, it's a crystal, but it just feels like it is, you know. Or let's say my nails go with it because it's definitely been around a lot longer than these <laughs> bristle nails. Okay, so that is everything I got in that section of the shop, of the thrift shop. So all I have to show you now is the jewellery I got back in a sec. So here is the jewellery that I got. Let's start with the necklaces, because I don't have many. I'm not really a necklace type person, so I don't really know what I'm looking for, to be honest. But I thought these were pretty nice beaded necklaces. You might have seen them in the video section. So this kind of beaded necklace here, and then this one here. I just thought they were really nicely done and kind of, this one is more like a choker style Can you see? We'll just like sit on the collarbone 
thought that was cute. I don't know what these beads are made of. look like it is and I just wanted to grab it and check it out so we've got these um, stones plasticky <laughs> stones <laughs> and then the metal putting them together I just thought that it was you know they're taking the time to let the light shine through <laughs> even if they're plasticky stones so I grabbed that and another bracelet. Oh, I didn't realize I got two bracelets. This one is like a beaded, almost looks like it's made from little um, watermelon seeds or something. When I saw it, I thought, is that metal? Like a coppery, bronzy metal with some blue beads there. I think they're like, oh, they're the same type of beads as that other necklace where it was like the, the blue glass that kind of sheen to them that I didn't know the name of. I don't know how well you can see it, but it just looks like a whole bunch of watermelon seeds have been woven together. I just thought that was fun. It's cute. So yeah, two bracelets, two necklaces, and two bracelets. Then, let me see, should we look at earrings? Yeah, and the first pair of earrings that I got were these dangly ones with the like silver color and the kind of turquoise color beads. They're like obviously it's not silver. <laughs> this is like a very light flat like thin metal silver colored with turquoise colored stones under there. But they were quite cute and I know my daughter will love them <laughs> so I don't know if I'll be selling them but we'll see. And these earrings I got, I saw them a few times and I didn't get them and then this time I thought, oh, I'll grab them because I got the red tasselly ones last time and I really liked them actually. And these ones were just like even more like, wow, <laughs> like um, over the top tasselly. That's cool because it goes all the way around. The little diamantes or rhinestones or whatever you want to call them. All the way around. The only problem is, I didn't notice at the time, but this is missing. <laughs> I was so sad when I realized um, the backs are not the same, so they've, somebody's added a little back to this one. So either I'm going to put these into the DIY um, broken jewelry that I, you know, I put aside a little bunch of um, jewellery that is a little broken or is missing stones or that sort of thing is to sell as like a lot for DIY. So either I'll do that or I thought maybe I could remove these parts and just add a very simple like um, hook kind of style earring fastening thing. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what I decide. 
do like them though. Tassels, I like tassels. any other earrings? I did. I remember these. At first I was like, are these earrings? I don't know. So they are these red glass balls with these little <laughs> glass um, daisies on them and they're just like the, the little um, silver colored ball that just goes behind the ears. Like that. <laughs> Aren't they cute? Um, they're very, like, it's a, like a big glass bead, so that would look really striking, I think. It's very cute. And then these other ones, a bit more vintage, are these red clip-ons. Aren't they cute? There's absolutely nothing marking them or anything. Good condition. They have these little clip-ons at the back. I know vintage clip-ons are in and that they do sell so I think that these will be quite good for my eBay shop my eBay store I guess you would call it more so two pairs of red earrings I wonder if they seem like they came from the same person maybe although these are clip-ons these are not else do I have? Ah, I actually did get more bracelets. I forgot. I grabbed these two full pearl bracelets um, and I just grabbed them because they just looked really pretty. Like they didn't look like just, um, you know, they're not stretchy like bead bracelets. You know, they're not that much of a cheap copy of pearls. But they're a copy of pearls that someone's actually taking time to make it look like it might be pearls, you know. Um, so yeah, they have a nice little clasp, like a bit of a vintage clasp going on there. And the pearls are pretty nice looking. I mean, they're not real, of course, but they're, they have a nice luster to them. <laughs> it's cute. And these ones, which are very similar, um, with a smaller pearl there big pearl, full pearl, and it also has one of these nice little gold clasps. They're not actual gold, but you know what I mean. Gold coloured. So I thought I would sell them together. It'd be a nice little thing. They have like maker's marks on them. This one says, I think it says mm, DPR. I might look that up just to see. And then this one, does this one say anything? I don't think so. But I can tell they're not gold or plated even. Although this one might be gold plated. Because it doesn't look as, you know, worn as that one. That one's obviously worn, but this one, I'm not sure. Oh, it says something on there. Okay, let me get my loop out. I'm not expecting it to say gold and pearls or something, but... I know costume jewellery does have a price, so... What does this say? Probably just says Italy or something, I don't know. What do you say? What do you say? Hmm... Tell what it says. Hold on. I can't for the life of me make that out. <laughs> it's it's written something is written there. It's stamped in there, but it's stamped so lightly that I can't actually make anything out even when I look at it under the loop. Can you see? Sometimes even when I look even closer, it's more difficult to see because it's more like blown out, if you know what I mean. I don't know. I mean, whatever. It's uh, DPR. <laughs> I'll have a look, but it's just a nice little faux pearl bracelet. So I'll just pop it with this one. It's cute. Oh, I remember I got this. <laughs> it's a little glass dolphin pendant. I got this for my daughter. She loves dolphins. 
and it was just in with the stuff <laughs> so I grabbed it it's cute for her and this another bracelet oh, I actually got three bracelets I got this with my daughter in mind too it's just like a a little um probably like a souvenir from an aquarium or something it's not silver it's not like um fancy or anything but it's silver colored it's in nice shape has a nice little clasp on it and each um pair of dolphins has like a a bit of i don't know what in it that has a different kind of pearly shade going on some green ones some blue ones some pink ones I think my daughter will really enjoy this. So another dolphin <laughs> item for my daughter. Go. I got some little pins. There are a whole bunch of pins, but they're mostly like product names or brand names, like factories or something like that. But I grabbed just a few little ones that I thought were cute. This one says it's like a little inkwell. Um, Le Grand Livre du Mois Book of the Month I don't know, it was pretty cute This one is a woman um, with an umbrella and actually it's CNA <laughs> I was like, okay CNA actually only closed its doors in France recently So, blast from the past for some of you This one it's just a little helicopter, a little red helicopter. I thought that was cute. And this last one, <laughs> yeah. I was like, is this m and I'm not sure. I just thought it was nice. It was like a little fun colored one. Somebody wanted some pins to put on their denim jacket. <laughs> Showing my age there or whatnot. And I got two vintage brooches, neither of which I think are, are worth much. They're not um, gold or silver with gold plating or anything. I wonder if they've even got maker's marks. I don't think so. You can see there's a touch of damage. I haven't really cleaned them up yet, but you can see some of the green kind of age going in there. There's no stones missing. The big fake pearly pearl there, and all the little stones around it are very pretty. I mean, it's cute, a little vintage brooch. And then this one, I don't think it is a brooch actually, because the fastening behind it is a little different. What's that for? Is that like for a scarf or something? You know, it's got little little spikes there hold it on. Is that like to fasten a scarf? I'm not sure exactly. But I thought the design was really cute. It's vintage and there is one stone missing at the edge but I mean if you're going for that vintage look it's probably not that bad and you can maybe replace it. So I don't know if I'll put that in a lot or um, pop it in the, the broken jewellery <laughs> thing. So there we go. That is everything that I got from the jewellery section. So I paid 14 euros for all of this together. Just zoom out a little. So you can see, because we have the bracelets too here. So, I mean, price wise, it's definitely more expensive than the objects. Um, but I don't know. Some of this might be worth be worth it. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. So that is everything I have to show you for this evening. I hope that you are enjoying coming along on this journey with me, thrifting in France. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed seeing all the objects and the stuff that I found. And I hope especially that you found it relaxing. 
Let me know what your favorite piece is down below. Out of all of this, I think my favorites are maybe this or this. I'm not sure. These are these. you all have a lovely